<laughs> or uh, blab it, you'll blab it. <laughs> and what's your cat? You know, so you, you can keep practicing your voices in the bathroom. Or can you do voices? Can you do any voices? Yeah? You would be a symbol of revenge or something. No voices? Anybody, sir? Who can do a voice? Come up here and do a voice. Yeah, but Dad can do a voice. Come on, Dad. What can you do? Tell me what you can do. Yeah, give him applause. and introduce him what he can do. You don't get paid for this, you know. Come on up there. Well, not he'll be embarrassed, but he likes to be Jim Carrey and practice all his voices. But he, the one he scares me with the most is uh, the, the voice from Silence of the Lambs, the, the man calling for his dog. Oh, awesome. Buffalo Bill. Well, it, yeah. She doesn't let me do this at home. I get yelled at for it. So, don't be shy. Does she let you well, do other things? No. Oh. My kids are here. Oh. Precious. Precious. <laughs> teach your sons there to be fearless, to, to afraid of nothing. If, if you got a chance, forge your head. Because that's the way I made it, you know, I just forge your head regardless of who said no. And if you say no, just go back and try it once more. <laughs> Tell you how I got an agent, that, that's how I did. I got, I was, you know, a little older than these kids when I first arrived in Hollywood uh, during one summer. I got dressed up in my Minnesota outfit with the gloves and everything on a Christmas, knock at the door, and it was my agent's door. Uh, hello? <laughs> Kill yourself, Mom, please. Thank yeah, that's you. right. Maybe I better turn down. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All fell cell phones off. Thank you. Uh, are we about to land pretty soon? Yeah, we're going to be on the ground. We'll go to the ground in about five minutes. Yeah, right. Now, why doesn't this phone work? You know something? I, I, I think this is made in China. <laughs> 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 so anyway, uh, so it was Christmas time, and so the, she opened the door, she just didn't know what to expect. I was in my stocking cap, and then, I had it from Minnesota, so, and my gloves, and I sang, Silent night, holy night. I and my partner had a candle each of them. She was so impressed, she signed me up right away. <laughs> so, can you imagine that, you know? Just be, I don't even know how I have that much courage to knock on a stranger's door and sing inside of mine. But when you're a Christian, anything's forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she signed me up, and right away I got jobs. One, let's say, ten of them a year. At least ten a year in those days. All the Westerns, Clint Eastwood, and Half Gun will travel, and uh, smoke, uh, gun smoke, and all of those were during my period. And it just came really always a persecuted Chinaman. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, or in a kung fu fight. <laughs> so you really are a kung fu fighter? You want to see some rage come out of my hand? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's the story at the beginning of my career. And then right after that, it just Escalating and, uh, how did you do? How did you get into Blade Runner? And uh, did you realize when you were doing it that it was going to go ballistic I mean, in terms of worldwide? Did you actually feel that happening? And I want to know what it's like to work with me. Well, sometimes when actors are in, in films, and I've done a few myself, you actually have a feeling that you're in something amazing. Um, working with Ridley Scott, this must have been a remarkable experience. True, true. When I first stepped on the uh, 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 Warner Brothers lot, um, in those days the studio was still pretty big, and this, the smell of the studio, now a lot of that is lost to the real estate of Century City and you know all these other real estates that have been built in the studios. But uh, at Warner Brothers, when I first came in, Ridley Scott sat down, there it was, all those... Uh, part of that beautiful uh, set that he puts down there, and those huge, in those days there was no 
real digital stuff, you know what I mean? It's all, uh, you have to build a set and somehow that they make it work. And I looked at it and I said, wow, that, this is really, sometimes you get that feeling when you say, this is going to be a classic, you know, you hope it would be anyway. It's the same feeling actually I got even nowadays for when I step on the set for RIPD. Have anybody know, uh, Google that up yet? You have, right? Um, it's a RIPD stands for Rest in Peace Department. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, uh, just very briefly, is, is a cop and he uh, lands in this middle ground. I can't give away too much, but uh, in a sense, I'll just tell you, I'm Ryan Reynolds' avatar, if you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, it, the rest of the story, you'll have to see it on screen, but it's coming out next year. Huge movie. I imagine they told me figures as much as $200 billion. Mm. Uh, with Jeff Bridges and Brian, uh, Kevin Bacon. You love it. This problem love it. They have probably on the count of approximately 10 or 12 great monsters. No, just outstanding. <laughs> Even in my scale of seeing monsters. Yeah, those, those are great. And so um, I want you to go see it. Because I'm in it, that's why. <laughs> <laughs>
when we do the voice, we go into a little room, a little booth, and give you uh, uh, the, the headset and the microphone and the director. And you yourself then have to create everything else, the set, the other actors talking to you, and uh, uh, what the situation is, like that scene when uh, Jack Black, Paul, is, uh, and I are escaping from the, uh, the monster, and uh, I, I'm talking to him about, you know, Oh, Paul, there's something I needed to tell you for a long time. I didn't know, of course, what the scene looked like. How can you? Because you've never seen it before. They're just creating it. But to me, didn't that really look like I was in that scene running as a refugee from the, the, the pro? Mm -hmm. Can I have a vote of confidence? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's the way it is, you know, and I got nominated for the best voice for that, uh, the, the TV series, um, Legends of the Awesomeness, Awesomeness, sorry, and uh, it, that's the way it goes, you have to be your own person, you know, you have to be all the characters, you have to imagine all the scenery, so you have to be very well schooled to do that, otherwise it'll just come out flat and the director's going, well, what can I do with this actor, you know? You have to give them several different ways of doing the line, you know? Um, for instance, let's say if I was doing animation of 